And not many people, not many Strictly professionals, have managed to lift the glitter ball two times. But not many Strictly professionals are the GOAT, the greatest of all time. <laughs> and now Otu Mabuse is aiming for the hat trick with a new dance partner, Hugo Monnier. Uh, they'll be telling us more next, but first, let's take a look at their amazing Strictly journey. Look Oti, at that. Oti, Hugo, with us now. <laughs> that looked great. That was fun. It was fun. How are we and doing, guys? Good to have you with us. You actually, Hugo, you improved on your samba. You did really well. I really enjoyed it. And we said it from week one that all I wanted to do was just try and get better every single week. So yeah. when you actually get some tangible evidence of all the hard work you put in and you get a better score, it feels good. You start the week off on the right foot. And how are you two getting on? <laughs> no, we have a good time, don't we? We laugh. We laugh so much. Sometimes I just have tears down my face and I have to redo my makeup. I actually don't so like funny. it though, because she's just like, okay, we need to dance, but I don't want to go into story time, have a laugh, and it's really just a tactic for me to get a, get a breath. Break. Right. What is she like to work with? Because obviously we see like the happy, mm. smiley, amazing Oti, like game face Oti, <laughs> but. OT behind the scenes when she's training you and yeah. choreographing you, I would imagine would be tough. It is tough. Yes. Like, when I played rugby, I think most sports people have split personalities. They have <laughs> the competitor and then they have their real self. Right. OT, the competitor, the coach, <laughs> I mean, she cracks the whip. Hideous. But outside of that, it's really good fun. Yeah. But we do incorporate having that fun on the dance floor. Oh, no. and that's why I mean, the first it. time I ever met OT, I interviewed OT for my podcast. And then at the end, we were in a bar and she <laughs> went, so are we going to have some shots or not? I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. Well, we were at a bar. We, we had were. to use that opportunity. Party, but, I, <laughs> but OT as a, as, a, as a dance coach would be would be a hard... I reckon she's hard. serious. 100%. But yeah. I guess the fun that you have is actually being able to perform on a dance yeah. floor. And that's what it is. So everything's engineered towards that. Then you can have your fun and then you can have your shots. Yeah. But he does bring the fun out in me, honestly. And you are such a bubbly <laughs> person anyway. So it's just nice to just be in his energy and yeah. in his space, which I love. And that sounds like an obvious question, Oti, but is the key to survive the first few weeks and then you start getting your stride and you start seeing the improvement? For, for me, I always think that the, in the first few weeks, you just want to teach the fundamentals. And Shirley talks about this the whole time. You want to teach the basic steps so that when we do get further on in the competition, you know what is needed to actually execute the routines and you've learned the basic steps in yeah. the beginning. So that's what I usually focus on. I teach him all this terminology that he's going to forget. But for me, I think it helps us in the journey to help him become a better dancer. And I always get a bit confused with the start, the first two weeks, because it's always the first yes. score and then the second score, they add those two together, right? And then on the second week, the audience votes as well, and then they add that Shit. as well. I don't understand, do you? <laughs> I, 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 I was just didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I still don't get it. <laughs> Are you go, what is, she, what is she like, though? Because I heard that you actually go to the same barber now. What's, what's going on? Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so Ruben, my barber, he came through the other day, and... I was just getting a little bit done off the top. Yeah. And Oti said, oh. how about this? And she's put this fancy little line in there. Look oh, at her. Yeah. She says I'm like a typical London boy. Well, <laughs> she wanted a bit of London swagger <laughs> in the side of her head. Oh, so, yeah, she's, she's got the swag. I'm <laughs> learning I'm learning slang now. Oh, my English gosh. English slang. Like, we're like, low it. This is what I say now. I'm trying to be down. Not like the that. Kids. Not, Not like that. Sorry. Are sorry. you teaching him South African slang? No, I'm Chummy. To, I'm chummy. Oh, chummy chummy means friend. Chummy. Yes, Ch is she your chummy? chummy? Yes. My chummy. So is Johannes chum. as well. He's yes. the most elegant man I've ever met in my whole life. He's stunning. Yeah. So what are we doing this Saturday then? Oof. I know it's is it is it movie week? It's yes. Movie. This is one of my favourite weeks ever. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so we are dancing to the film Moana and the oh song is you're welcome. I almost forgot the song for a yeah. minute. <laughs> it's, it's, it's welcome. So it's a, it's a movie and a song that I used to watch with my girls all the time. Yeah. My eldest daughter's Phoenix, and we spent hours upon hours just watching it. And I love the fact that when I look at Moana, this fearless young little girl adventurer, I just... I want Phoenix to be all those things. Aww. And so the thoughts of like sitting back with her, that's yeah. her. That she's yeah. so gorgeous. She's amazing. And she came into dance training the other day to see Daddy with his wig, because I've got dressed as Maui. She wasn't impressed by it. He's not <laughs> down with the wigs. What, did she not like it? I put it on five minutes. I thought I had a snub him. <laughs> I was like... so hot. My body <laughs> was just... up in his wig. <laughs> Honestly, when you've got short hair, yeah, it's hot. like you put like long hair, <laughs> really? it's horrible, isn't it? Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. When you get short hair, your hair gets you used to. I've been tapping today. Yeah, it's just a little scratch <laughs> on the back there. Honestly, and how's it going? Is it looking good? Okay. Yes, this week I think for me has been the most surprising. Uh, you've really, really come a long way, and and now 
he's adding his own thing. So the other day he was just like, I want to do a dolphin jump. Really? On and so I was become like, the choreographer. Um, yeah. I was like, oh, you can do that? Okay, let's do it. So every single party trick he has, we literally put it serious? in. Are I know, right? I thought the same thing. He's like, bring out the carpet. And we were like, take the carpet out. And then he was doing Ron She doesn't listen to all of them. So no. like last week there was a moment where we got into a corner. You know the Ronaldo celebration? See? Yes. I wanted to do it, OT. She's not she she walk off it. Not on the field. We're on the dance floor. Yeah. You get, how old are your daughters? Uh, Phoenix is four and a half and Ruby's one and a half. OK. And they love it. Yeah. I was going to say, so, yeah, the, so the young one would, would kind of just be happy to see you on the television. Or Ruby whatever. doesn't know what's going on. No. So she's just <laughs> bouncing about like a bundle of energy. What does your oldest think about you being on Strictly? She loves it. She really enjoys it. She talks about it at school every single day. I watched back Strictly with her on Sunday, but she's also obsessed with AJ. <laughs> so her feedback really? every week is like, Dad, are you doing well? But I think AJ's <laughs> going to win. <laughs> Like, that is it. Uh, she's five. on five, isn't she, AJ? Oh, amazing. And what about you, OT? Do you think you're going to lift that glitter ball for a third time? Because I think it could happen. Do you? I, mean, I know that a rugby player has never won it. Yes. That's but, true. you know, this never. could be your year. No, I think we, we're working hard. And I think that's the key, isn't it? It's kind of to just stay in that week, stay in that moment and just work really hard for whatever mm. comes. Because we can't even control it. Yeah. It's people that are voting. The only thing that we could do is just work hard mm. and make sure we still keep growing. Yeah. And you your, your, I was just going to say, your sister, your sister's amazing, no, isn't she? she's incredible. She is literally one of the most fairest judges I've ever come across, but very honest. Why yeah. do you say that? What's, what do you like about her? I just think she's absolutely... Motsey just tells it as it is, yes. but not in a kind sort yes. of way as well. So you can actually take it on board and think, yeah, I can do something with yeah. that. But I actually love it. Do you, do you love I her? Do. And and I, I do. Do you love, love the fact that you see her all the time? All now? the time. And we laugh because people say we're loud. And like we got, he even says, Oti, you're so loud. And I'm like, this is what, who when I you're am. Sister. Yes. And they're like, your sister's shouting. I was like, this is us communicating, just you know? Animated. <laughs> I reckon if you put a heart rate monitor on any of the dancers and you put one on Motsi, it would be the same. She's never sat down. She's always dancing, isn't she? I love it. We were talking about her the other day. Like, <laughs> she is the fire starter. Motsi gets up and then you feel compelled. Well, if she's having fun, I'm having yeah. fun. Yeah. You get yeah. up on your feet, and but that's the energy you want there. Yeah, it's a sort of it's obviously a very different scenario mm. between playing professional rugby mm. and strictly, and yet there must be similarities in the pressure involved. I guess yeah. when you're on the rugby pitch, so much of what you do is instinctive. Yes. Whereas this is anything but that. You're trying to learn instinct, which is almost impossible to learn, but you work really hard so that you feel comfortable, so that when you're on the dance floor, you're performing, you're not thinking left foot, right foot, left foot, or whatever it is. But in terms of the, the skills that I learned in rugby is kind of what Ota was touching upon. We control what we can control. That's how hard we work and how well we perform. Everything beyond that. So when it got to the results show on Sunday, I said to OT, this is the most relaxed I've been all week. Yes. We've done what we've done. I enjoyed performing it. Hopefully people enjoyed it. If they want to vote, they will. We hope they do, but that's down to them. So for us, let's just bask and enjoy this and hopefully we get another crack at it. Your outlook week. is incredible. And, and you know, I hope you don't mind us talking about it, but I know your father passed just before mm. you started Strictly. I mean, yeah. to show the resolve and the strength you did to, to then go out was incredible, man. Yeah, I, I look back on that and that was like a couple of weeks ago and it feels like a lifetime away, but... You know, um, doing your first show, um, what, four and a half hours after his funeral is... I can't yeah. believe it. I don't know, but I, I was so focused on wanting to go out there and at the funeral they spoke about today being a day of celebration and I wanted to export some of those words and put them into actions and I, the dance was far from perfect, but in terms of how it felt, no one would ever take that away from yeah. me because I knew who I was dancing for. So and so I'm proud. No, thank you. And he's shining down on you now. And can you imagine how proud he I'm was? I'm not sure what he'd have thought of the Pink Panther out. Okay, I can you for that. Yeah. <laughs> OT and you go, honestly, we're so excited for your journey. Yeah. It's amazing. Thank you. Thank uh, you BBC One 645 is on Saturday. It's yes. going to be amazing. We can't wait for your Moana. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> what did you do? Or did you make Movie Week? Yes. I did do Movie Week, but I, I can't don't remember. remember. Oh, I did. Uh, Footloose. Nice. Footloose. Come Footlo on. It was a jive. It was it terrible. Was a jive. No. Too fast. <laughs> Too fast. I couldn't keep up, honestly. I had to slow Ali Ash down. You should have twerked like, like Judy twerked. That's what you should have done. Out. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for joining us. A jive. It was half a jive. It was tough. <laughs> I'll, I'll teach you later. I'll teach you later.